My name is John Roach and I come from Queens, New York. My focus at the Museum of Glass this week is to make a series of objects that use uh, sort of an alchemical process. So the objects themselves will have this kind of action. Very interested in uh, multi-channel surround sound realization of some of this work. And that immediately sparked all kinds of ideas for me. And it wasn't so much that I wanted to make um, particular shapes or objects. Part of it was really how do you think of glass as a transformative material and how might that relate to sound. The more I worked with sound and started to sort of tease sounds out of these unusual materials, I became much more interested in this notion of um, the kind of performance quality that sits in objects. There's a bit of a different story with this, but a lot of these were inspired by, um, they were inspired by a book by I think it, I'm gonna have to fact check this, but I think it's a 16th century writer named Francois Rabelais who wrote a book called Gargantua and Pantagruel. There's a, a scene in the book in which the characters are, are sailing through a frozen sea and they hear all of this, these sounds, like all sounds of warfare, and all of the sounds were frozen in midair. So the characters in the book start scooping these objects out of the water, which are frozen words and frozen sounds. This idea of wishing that they could take them home. If they could store them in oil and hay, they could bring them home with them. So these are my sort of representation of that. I have all kinds of ideas, and I don't know if they're going to be difficult. I don't know if they're going to be easy. Um, and I can see them translated so quickly. They're these um, the crew here. They're like um, improv. They're great improvisers. They're fantastic craftspeople, but they're also like percussionists. It's like in contact almost. I'm for me the opportunity is not only to just have these things made. I mean, that's pretty great as an artist to have an idea and see it realized in a medium that I'd otherwise not have access to, but also to really put some of the personality of the glass artists in that work, too. 